Hey everybody, so I wanted to come and do a video. I haven't done a video in a while. And uh, forgive me if this thing is just moving around because I'm using my laptop and I can't like anchor it. But so yeah, I was doing some thinking. I'm a thinker. <laughs> and I was doing some thinking and I thought to myself, man, I've come a really long way um, with my journey and I haven't really shared too much. I'm a little bit of an introvert and um, I haven't really shared too much about my journey and I really want to share um, at least a little bit more with everybody. So, but one of the things that, one of the memories I had and one of the things that had come up for me today um, was when I was like completely and totally about myself. I wasn't thinking about any man that I had been with in the past that I had dated or um, was in love with. I, I hadn't th thought about anybody but myself and that was um, probably when I first entered college and I, my mom had just passed away suddenly so a month after that a month after that um I started college and first of all the people there couldn't even believe that I was actually starting school um after that happened but I was like that's what she wanted I gotta do it you know and the really cool thing about myself I would say during that time was that I was blossoming. I had been very tomboyish. I had dressed uh, very uh, masculine um, for a very long time. And the cool thing was I had a friend at the time that had just taught me about uh, dressing, dressing feminine. She asked me like, what, what size do you wear in pants? And I only knew male sizes. So I was giving her like, well, I'm a 34 or I'm a 32 or like, I didn't know what my size was because I had always wore men's clothing. Um, and so she was like, well, that's man's clothing, Angie. What do you know what you wear in women's? And I was like, I have no clue whatsoever. Um, so we went out, we found out my size and and we um, we did some shopping, which was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't, I hadn't gotten my hair done. Um, I think the last time I had got my hair done during that time was like for pictures. But other than that, I would wake up, brush my hair, and that was it. Like I didn't put a lot of effort into myself. Um, in high school, I just didn't care. I wasn't interested in any of the men. I didn't date. Um, I had went through a lot health-wise, so it wasn't an issue for me. I was very somewhat happy with myself or content, I should say. And um, yeah, so I began learning about myself. I began learning that I like certain feminine things. I love to get my hair done. Um, I love to shop. I was shopping all the time um, because I needed a new wardrobe because I was... I, I had only male clothing, masculine clothing, so I started to shop. I started to get my hair done. I started to get my nails done. Like, I had such a really great time. And I remember the first boyfriend I ever had, um, he was kind of coveted with all the women on campus. And I wasn't really interested in him. I thought he was attractive, but I wasn't very interested in him. And... Um, he he dressed nice. His father owned a construction company. Um, if you hear noise, they're doing construction back there. His father owned a construction company. He drove a BMW. I think it was a BMW or Benz or something like that. And so, you know, he was just somebody that was everybody wanted to be with. Wasn't very interested in him <laughs> whatsoever. Um, I thought he was a good friend, but I just wasn't too interested um, because I was interested in myself. I was learning about myself. I was coming out of my shell, and that felt really, really great. Um, I remember the first time he asked to 
being my boyfriend, uh, he came to my dorm room and I remember that he was um, standing in the hallway of my room and, you know, he's talking to me. I'm thinking I've never had a boyfriend before. I don't know. I don't know how this works. And he's like, well, we'll figure this out together. And I'm like, um, <laughs> and I told him the truth. I said, look, I don't know where, you, where to put you in my life because I had studies I was trying to figure out myself without my mother. I have a twin sister. We were three hours away from each other in school. She went to a different college. I was trying to figure out myself and how I am in relation, how I was and am in relation to other people around me without my family present. I was looking for Angela. I was, I was looking to really blossom and flourish for myself. And I told him, I said, I feel like you're a box. You're a very big box. And I'm in a room surrounded by other boxes, which are other areas of my life. And I'm holding you in this room full of boxes. And I have no clue where to put you. So I don't think this is going to work because I need to make room in my life for you because I don't know where to put you. And so he cried. <laughs> And I think that's the one thing that if I look back over the years that I let uh, hinder me. Someone else had told me that they said, you know, you let people guilt you too much. And I was like, you know what? I don't know, but you might be right. And as I look back at situations, I realize the last resort people have is guilting me. And I'm the type of person that I want to help people so much that as soon, as soon as they go for that last resort, oh my God like it just crushes me inside don't guilt me you know but guilt can be a trap people use it to trap you you know so it was rough so he was like please he just started to cry he said give me a chance please give me a chance and I'm like god I hope I don't regret this but I feel like I'm gonna regret this and so I said okay I'll give you a chance we had a lot of fun um in our relationship but things were not ideal and in the end, I was like, this is just not going to happen anymore, you know? And so thinking about that time, I feel like life has come full circle again, where I have been in and out of relationships. And then I'm in this place now where I'm like, man, I would really love to have somebody steady. I would really love to have someone um, that is mature enough to handle a mature relationship and want to move forward and be loving, be kind, be generous, you know, because I'm all of those things. And then it hit me today, like, oh my gosh, yeah, you remember that box? <laughs> remember the room of boxes? Remember, remember carrying a box, feeling like you had no room in your life for somebody else, or you were getting, you're just basically trying to get your ish together. Yeah, that's me. Like, I'm, apparently I'm still in that place. And I remember my mother came to me in a dream, and she told me, Angela, and she showed me, showed me myself making vision boards and, you know, things like that. And by the way, I am a medium. <laughs> I'm a medium, I'm a multisensory, clairvoyant, yada, 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 so on. So my mother visited me in a dream, and she said, Angela get lost in yourself and she showed me doing vision boards she showed me really creating and mapping out my life and just getting lost and enjoying myself and so I remember that today like get lost in yourself get lost in yourself. she was right I need to get lost in myself I need to um I need to enjoy the process of getting lost in myself and creating myself and recreating myself I hadn't done any videos, I haven't done any videos, I haven't really been active on social media for like two years, I've just really pulled back. Um, I used to do lives all the time and I just pulled back because I said, you know what, I'm going through this rebirthing process, this growing process and it had become too much to talk about. And perhaps I'll do it in another video if anybody's interested, but it really just I really went through a lot of death and rebirth cycles, some that are very emotional and spiritual, and a lot of them that are very physical. Um, when you've been on that roller coaster of you're alive and you're very close to death, and you're alive again, and you're very close to death, and you're alive again, you're very close to death, and oop, 
we think you were gone, but we can't actually prove it. And I'm like, I, I was, you know, um, when you go through that over and over again, at a certain point, you get to this place where you're like, I'm done. I'm done with the roller coaster. I just want to enjoy myself, whether I have certain things in place for myself or not. I just want to be happy. And I don't know how to mute those notifications yet. I'll figure it out. But I tell you guys all of this because you don't have to wait until things seem ideal, until you have the right guy, until you have the right circumstances, until you until you feel that things are perfect to be happy. You know, go through Go through your circumstances, go through your life trials, go through those things and pull out happiness, pull out joy, pull out gratefulness, pull those things out from within you and from around you. Um, take some time, go for a walk in nature and just absorb all the beautiful energies that are out. You know, the sun, I, I tell you when I was in a decline physically, I thought to myself, money means nothing to me right now. Products mean nothing to me right now. You know, nothing. Nothing meant nothing. There's nothing. I had no use for physical things. They meant absolutely nothing. The only thing that meant something to me was anything that was going to help to revive my body. Whether it was medicine, whether it was supplements, whether it was food. Nothing else meant anything to me because it had no use for me. At this stage in my life right now, I'm like, I want to enjoy my life. So if I choose to, you know, if I choose to buy this or if I choose to do this, I want to do that because I don't know if tomorrow is my last day, you know, but I tell you it's not. <laughs> God made me some promises and I tell you it's not. Um, I can hear my, my nephew screaming and that's his car scene. So, yeah, so don't wait until things are perfect. Try not to wait till things are perfect. Get lost in yourself. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. If you feel like you're stuck creatively, do something creative. Do a vision board. You know, go on Pinterest and then print them out and then stick them on, on a board. And then don't just look at the board. See what you can tackle on that board. Find a new circle of friends. This is absolutely crucial. Find people one by one. Even if you have to kind of like pretend the people that you admire and, in, and are inspired by are your friends, do that. I remember when I had, when I was in the process of losing 120 pounds um, several years ago, all I did was watch YouTubers that focused on health. And in my mind, they were my friends. Like we were, we were buddies. Okay. <laughs> we were buddies and I did it. I would watch every single day, multiple times a day, morning, noon, night, whatever they were doing. I would figure out a way to make it palatable for me. Um, I created a new circle for myself, even if those people were not there. And it seems like it's ideal now, especially since we're in COVID time. So it's important, you know? Get lost in yourself. Get lost in caring for yourself. Get lost in creating for yourself. Get lost in you. And if you feel like there's a lot on your plate, it's okay to lighten your load. It's okay to say, I'm tired or I'm stressed or I'm overwhelmed. I'm taking my space. It's okay. You don't have to be productive a million times a day. Your worth is not... Your worth is not attached and it should not be attached to how productive you are <clears throat> so when you move and as you move forward in your life just remember that you are more important than the circumstances around you you are more important than what you give yourself credit for and you're valued, you're honored, you're protected, you're supported, you're loved, you're guided, you're healed. You know, every day that you wake up, find something to say that feels true for you in how you're guided by the universe, God, Yeshua. Find, find something to say. Some people call it affirmation, some people call it a mantra. Find something to say that feels absolutely truthful for you. 
and with whatever situations you're going through and that changes every day for me it changes based on what I hear based on what I'm told like today it was get lost in yourself and then I remembered all those times I was told to get lost in myself which is what I'm sharing with you guys so um, if you'd like to hear more <laughs> more of this stuff let me know um, I I will have other videos that I post surrounding this and and I will be talking more. I will be sharing more, especially with what I am shared. So let me know. Let me know what you want to hear. Let me know if you want to know what I'm wearing, <laughs> because I guarantee you it is not foundation. Um, let me know if you're interested in the jewelry, because I love to talk about jewelry. My mom used to actually buy, my mom used to sell jewelry, um, and that was always fun. Um, so I love talking about jewelry. Um, and I'll post the link actually I'll post the link to what I'm wearing and what I got going on here as well as my lipstick because I like to mix lipsticks I like to create my own colors um, yeah so let me know let me know what you're interested in here I absolutely love um, streetwear and very chic wear I should say because most of the movies I grew up watching were like with Audrey Hepburn and um, Fred Astaire and um, why am I going blank right now? <laughs> Cary Grant. So I like I like classic looks, classic pieces, but I also like athletic wear and I like street style and I have that little funky edge in me, a little hip hop funky edge. So let me know what you're interested in hearing. Let me know what you're interested in seeing. Um, and yeah, get lost in yourself. You know, don't wait for things to be perfect. Just get lost in you and enjoy the process. Enjoy feeling beautiful. Enjoy feeling feminine. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Follow me across social media. Subscribe. And um, yeah, I look forward to connecting with you guys.